And hello there guys, it is Judska bringing you the Judska experience. Today we're going to be looking actually at an exploit, and because of that I have not decided to make any uh, any high quality editing, just a, just a straight up video on how to do this because I think it's very simple and very game breaking, it is very easy to do. And basically what we're going to be doing is having an unlimited range radio op, you can shoot wherever you want on the map. Um, I will just uh, be going over this as quick as possible because I don't want to waste your time. So you can uh, you can get in the games and uh, do it yourself, uh, maybe. I, I saw some rushes doing this, and you know you can do it against them, but I would advise not doing this in multiplayer matches because this is pretty much going to ruin the game. I would privately share this with the developers of Assault Squad 2, but since I'm banned from talking to them, I really have no way to get out this information, and I think this needs to be uh, this needs to be fixed. And I think it's going to be very hard to fix it, and I'll explain that in a bit. But as we all know, the radio operator has a max range of 60. Right here, I'm at 74. I cannot fire. I have rounds of my gun. It is red. I cannot fire. I must walk within 60 range. And then I can fire perfectly fine. And the radio op, as we all know, is very effective against pretty much every unit in the game. Actually, every unit in the game. It will kill it. So with the radio operator glitch, as you see, it is very... Very destructive over there. All you have to do is aim at your feet. You get in direct control, aim at your feet, and get out of direct control. Very simple. And then we're going to target. Um, we'll just target these ranges for now. You're going to move your camera over the target. Put your cursor where you want to, uh, your guy to aim, basically. And we're out of direct control through all of this. And then all you do is once you get back into direct control, you fire. And there's all five off. And we had one hit on the wall here, so that didn't uh, that didn't register. Actually, it did. Wow. So we got all five, and let's see what range this was. 138 meters. 138. That's uh, that's pretty insane, considering that's more than double of what the maximum range is. I'm just just trying this on something else. So I'm reload. You know, here's a here's a Hellcat. It's very simple. Basically, anything that's dead, and here's only one. It it all depends on the timing. That should be close enough. It all depends on where the angle of your gun is it depends on that solely is how far you shoot so if you get the correct angling and you get the correct timing then you will have perfect shots each time and one thing to note is I'm hosting this server so I have no lag whatsoever the reason why this works so well when you're actually lagging is because there's more server delay and on this map this map is actually a very shitty map that has a bunch of buildings and a bunch of just crap that makes it a really, you know, crappy competitive map, but that's, I'll save that for another video. Um, basically, what happens is there's a delay. Like, you can try this in single player, and it's not going to work. It only works when we're on these shitty Steam servers that have a big delay, which I think is going to cause an issue in fixing this glitch, because there's basically going to be no way um, to rework the whole game from that. I, I hope there's a way. I really do. At least this will give you a, a way to counter the Russians, um, what they're doing. Because I, I got inspiration from this. I didn't really see how they're doing it. Because, you know, you can't really tell what they're doing when they're firing this off. But through some testing, I figured out how to do it. And the reason it works is basically you aim at the ground. It has this angle here. It's a very shallow angle. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit really, you know, not far out. But as I aim, like, up here... We see that it he changes his direction, or he changes his angle, I should say. He changes the angle, and what's happening with the lag is he's going to shoot, or I signal the shots within the 60-meter gap here, but it actually fires the rounds off once I'm at the correct angle, giving it the distance. So that is how it is done. So it's going to be very difficult, I think, to fix this. Um, the developers have a really bad track record in fixing things, you know, considering out of syncs, etc. So maybe in about uh, nine months we'll have a fix um, if there is even one, if they're even supporting this game. Um, but yeah, um, that pretty much ruins the game. So I would really not recommend doing this against, you know, random plebs. Maybe uh, maybe if you feel like it, but uh, you will be called a hacker. I know I have. I really don't use this that much because um, I think it is very, uh, very shitty. And the only reason I did it, wow, that actually I did get the range on it. Just to show you, I mean, it gets rather inaccurate at long ranges. You can hit things. It does take a few times, but that's a 300-meter shot there. Um, it does get inaccurate. That should actually be more accurate. That was. 
You see that's going to get it. So that was a 300 meter shot with the radio operator. That's how you do it. You just aim at the ground, move your camera, and aim at the vehicle, wall, indirect control, and boom. It is dead. So I hope that uh, solves that frustration. I hope they fix it, but they probably won't. At least this video will just be a little testament um, to, uh, to DMS and um, their greatness in, <laughs> in making video games. All right, all right, all right, all right. Have a good day, guys, um, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.